Hey, Kane Train 3 here with a very special RPG hack showcase today. We are doing Final Fantasy C2, which is a Final Fantasy 4 hack that turns it into an enhanced version of the original Final Fantasy 2. You know, the black sheep of the Final Fantasy games with that wackadoodle doodle leveling stat system. So this this hack itself was made was put out a few years ago. Just recently, Tomato, the guy behind the the Mother Three English translation for for GBA, put the put this out. So there's two versions of this. The one we'll be trying now is version B, which, as you can see here, replaces. The original FF4 enemy with enhanced FF2 graphics. Version 1 only en enhances... The, oh, version... Ver bleh, version A in, only uses Final Fantasy 4 graphics. So in the chat, I'm going to post a couple links. One for the news article regarding this. And one to get the patch itself. Just give me a moment. Boink. So both of these links I'll be putting in the VOD description. And of course it'll be brought over when I export this over to YouTube in about a day. And I'm working on a blog review of this, of this as well. Which will cover the hack itself along with the translation. So seeing how um, we're just going to showcase this, I'm going to go up to the events of Segment 4s, Segment 4s, however you pronounce it. And depending on how long this takes, I may just continue on through the story event in the 4s. When once I get to the, the save point in there, I'll just try to rush past battles until the boss fights and I finish the area and just fight enemies while I'm um, while in the beginning so I've been playing this on my own and I really been enjoying this along with the fact that I have little knowledge or experience with OG Final Fantasy 2 itself last time I really played it was the plate was the PlayStation port and I don't think I got very far. Though with the oh, with the original NES and PlayStation ports, I do know the ways of exploiting and breaking the system. And I know those those exploits were fixed in the GBA and PSP ports. Which of course in typical square fashion, you fix one thing, something else breaks. So if I end up do playing the original Final Fantasy 2 on stream, it might end up being the PSP version and I'll maybe look up how to do the exploits and whatnot from there. Or I'll play or I'll just play the original. So let's get started, shall we? Again I wanna thank the guy whose name I can't remember right now for creating this hack in the first place along with tomato for making the English translation dun, 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 dun. And I will be saving and using save states also to try to speed things up a little bit. Not to mention the beginning of this is kind of rough even with this hack.
Ferion! Trapped! Damn! Dot dot dot. Our orders are to execute all who dare oppose the Empire. If you're going to blame anyone, blame the King of Finn for his defiance. Okay. In the beginning, this is a fight you can't win. Ow. Ow. I'm also hoping tonight, if I have the energy to stream again, to finally do that SRAM showcase from 8-Bit on Battle of Olympus, Clash at Demon Head, Goonies 2, Guarding Legend, and Zexus. And hopefully tomorrow night after work, if I have the energy, finally do the Retro Revisited on the Super Star Wars trilogy for the Super NES. Will he live? No. Thanks for the GG's, everyone. He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found him like this on the escape from Finn, falling from terrible wounds. I thought that you, if anyone, might be able to save him. His life is not in danger. This cigarette will restore his life force. We shall let him rest for now. Of course. We best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire finishes building its dreadnought and baths, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. See you later. Where am I? Oh, the others. Leon. Maria. Guy. One of the things I like about this hack is all the all the FF2 towns and locations are built up from locations in FF4, either by a whole or bits and pieces, which I'll show you after we get through over this opening gobbly book. Oh yeah, and I need to do screenshots. I'll be having a review of this on my blog in maybe a day or two once I'm able to export this this over to YouTube. And if anyone wants to see me actually playing playing this as a whole, just let me know. I'd actually be excited to put be bleh, to play this as a whole, either keep going on my own or streaming it. Shut down. Okay, so we're wearing alt here. My Cydia. Neat. Alright, let's do stuff. Yeah, keep those two in the front. I'm gonna change out Maria's weapon. Because I I'm kinda not a fan of her bowing arrows. Change this to black. 
Let's let's look at the stat screen. Oh yeah, I like how the stat screens are. Reminds me of definitely looks like FF2s. The little I remember of it. Oh, cool, we gotta run. Oh, what a nice guy. Yeah, as you can see here on the status screen under Gil, there's a tre there's a treasure tracker that Tomato added just for f just for fun. All right, looks like this building here in Altair is based off of Fabu. Oh, also something I learned on I learned on my own was. Since this is based off of FF4, the duplication tricks do work. Oh, why can't you just take an arrow to the knee like a good king? I like the addition of a run button, that's for sure. Wait, did I loot these yet? See what's in here. Yeah, this area is definitely based off of Fabrule. That will have been where Yang's wife hangs out. Oh, okay, now we're in the bottom of the, um, tower of whatever the hell it's called from Mycidia. And Altair is based off of Mycidia. That's cool. Alright, let's see what we can equip here. It's Edward. Yes, you are, you spoony bard. Yes, you are. I honestly, I'd rather equip Maria with just a dinky weapon rather than um, bowing arrows, honestly. Hey there, Chris. Thanks for joining and thanks for subbing. Much appreciated. Thanks for joining us today. We're getting doing a hack showcase of Final Fantasy C2. A hack put out a few years ago that translates Final Fantasy IV into an enhanced version of FF2 with a recent English patch by Tomato, well known for putting out the GBA Mother 3 English patch. You got home just in time? I'm happy about that. Alright, so... Let's... 
Oh, this looks like the England Baron. If that's the case, kid, move. Wasn't there, isn't there something here? No. Nice thing is, I don't have to use the end here or, uh, what you call it, friend, because where the serpent road was. We got healing. Ta-da! All right, for, also for the, for the showcase here, I won't bother doing any um, item duplication because I really don't need it. So we're going to do an actual save first. Uh, what's the right button? Do a screenshot. Nice, I got a founder's badge too. Yeah, I think you and Feral, Feral have them. Alright, so what do we have here? Incantation, which I think is new. Alright, Maria's kind of based off of Kid idea here. We got white magic, black, and summons. And if I end up losing Guy in this fight, I'm going throw a fetch. So since this is based off of Final Fantasy 4, you don't you don't have to deal with the the Wacko Doodles stat, st stat building and leveling system of the original FF2, which is Really nice. Also never been fond of Maria being so behind on on her XP um behind Furion and Guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get at least to level four or five wandering around here before we start making the long trek over to Finn. Thankfully, after we, we, thankfully after we come back from Finn, we get uh, Mignon or whoever that white mage's name is with with us, along with his re along with his vehicle, and we can start actually doing quite a bit of damage. I think Libra's the uh, eight, the check HP spell. Honestly, I wish I realized about the about that instant healing spot here, and in and there's one in Finn, which I'll show you f later. Oh, stuff. Like I was saying, I wish I knew about the instant hero areas be um, <clears throat> when I started playing before I accidentally discovered them. So pretty much the road map in this is FF2. A lot of the towns, towers, caves, etc., are based off of uh, off of FF4. And instead of some locations that are in the original FF4, they are replaced by counterparts from F from FF4. Like later, you go up you go up Mount Odeals after Yosef joins your group. All right, we got three. How much more do we have? I 
How many tents do I have anyway? Three, good. I think after this fight we'll start making our way to the first town. Hopefully I'm going um going the right way. Oh there it is. Oh hey, a chocobo forest. Cool. Alright. Fat chocobo spot. Oh, that's the only one in here? Okay. Actually, that's not so bad. Rest restore my MP. So far between playing this here and and on my own, I'm really liking this English translation. I'm also really liking this hack itself and can't wait to write my review. Oh boy. I hate these. I hate big horns. Take him out before he does a needle attack on me. Oh, boom. Awesome source. Yeah, and again, thanks for subbing, Chris, and enjoy your Luigi emote. Hopefully, once I get enough subs and I can open up a, sec a second emote spot, I'll upload the my Luigi GG I've made. Alright, so, looks like this town is built off of... Miss Village. That's cool. Um, really don't need any items. Oh, a naming race here too. Cool. Oh, that's a wall. Alright, so if this is Miss Village, then the fireplace passage is still here. Okay, this is sweet. I think he already has that. No problem, I've been meaning to sub- I just had to get a prepaid debit card today. No problem, dude. Much appreciated. Alright, I already have those. I think. See if there's anything new I can give little Maria. Okay, not yet. And we'll sell those because that's useless. Alright, we can give him a real slight upgrade here, that's which is nice. Oh, he has no helmet yet. Okay. Maybe he can use the feather. Eh, I'll take it. Obviously, if I play it, obviously if I play this more extensively on stream, on stream I'll be more extens extensive when I'm um, grinding and everything else. All right, that's cool. That that area was the village of mist. All right, now we gotta take the long way around. Around the lake to get you to sneak into Finn. 
which is usually never a fun time. See by me. Oh, okay, I'm halfway there anyway, so... Alright, so this is based off of Baron Town. Alright, we gotta talk to him later. Can't fight those guys. Here's the other side of the Serpent Road in Final Fantasy IV. And here's the Instant Hero area that I mentioned before. And if this is Baron Town, we got some looting to do, my friends. Honestly, I didn't even know about a lot of the secret items until I, st until I started playing Free Enterprise. Alright, I got lucky there, so we're actually going to save. And do some fights here. And then we'll do the next part, of the next story thing. So how, so how is everyone this this hot and humid afternoon? Oh, thank you. Pretty hot and humid here in Jersey. Went to shower this morning. Staying in the air conditioning the rest of the afternoon. Safe for watering my garden later. Ow. Okay, Fearon got his level. Oh, smoke bomb. Sweet. And another tent. I think the incantations, his incantation magics are new to this. Which is nice. Alright, I got a ways to go with little Maria. Here's Castle Finn. Based off of Baron Castle. If I talk to him, I'm dead. No, but since we're nearby, I actually don't even know what a couple, couple of Maria summons he do from playing on my own. Let's find out. Oh, cool. Okay, that's a uh, Coctress. And the other one's the Regia's Chocobo Beak. Pretty good, got home from work almost an hour ago. Wasn't much to do there. Sounds like most of my days. Alright, I would like to get Maria's level up before we head back, honestly. I've also kind of learned, 
at least until um, Sigmund falls when you when you get the Mithril, there really isn't much of a point to upgrade that much of your oh great that much of your equipment until you get until you open up the Mithril. Really? Great. Oh, this ain't going to be fun. Though so actually, with Fe with Furion knocked out, knocked out, this might actually speed up Maria getting her level up. Oh, perfect. Alright, good. She learned the aerial spell. No, thank you. Oh, training room. Cool. I'll probably do a bunch of screenshots as I'm playing this and then take a bunch um, from where I am in my game on my own and go and then just go from there. Alright, let's start heading back. Oh, we haven't fought these dudes yet. Honestly, I think after this one, I'm, I'm just going to run from everything else just to save some time. Since we've got somebody good coming in afterwards. Did he just gain a level? Not today, Satan. Oh. Duh, I forgot to talk to the guy. The pint of no return. Try all why burn brew. It's to die for. Oh boy. He just bounced. What a nice guy. Yeah, one of the uh, big thing with Final Fantasy 2 is, is passwords to talk to certain people to initiate key events and get items, stuff like that. I like the fact that this was still instituted in in this hack. The Gordon Fisherman. bad. Oh, whoops. Oh, he died. And he disappeared like Yoda.
Okay, now let's get back back to the other town. Oh, you know what? I can take these guys. Actually, you know, the beginning of this isn't so rough, isn't as rough as I expected it to be. Oh, there's the bridge. I vaguely remember beginning of effort of original FF2 being rough to start. I know the only other hacks that I'll be playing or trying out that have a, a rough start is Final Fantasy IV Darkness Within. And that's pretty darn <clears throat> sorry. And that's pretty darn rough and possibly the play the PlayStation version of Tales of Fantasia when I do my comparison between the PlayStation English translation fan patch and the the famous Super NES one from DJAP years back. Can I get on the bridge? Okay, good. His level's going to go up. Oh, you know what? Well, one more good attack. There we go. Actually, this has been easier than when I played this on my own. I kept getting attacked by those blue things shooting me with their damn needle attacks. Where's Maria though? Alright, she's got a Alright, she's got time still. Excuse me. Thank you. Quickie heal. Save before we start the next story event. Welcome to Not My City. So I am safe stating in case I screw up, in case I really do screw up someplace bad. Okay, back to the war room. Oh, I, that ring belonged to Scott. <laughs> you don't want to know, lady. Sure, if you say so, lady. Oh, he has a hovercraft in this one. Cool. In the original, when Min Wu joins you, you get a canoe. This one, you get the Ho Edward's hovercraft instead. 
Okay, that's the same dialogue. Alright, we gotta move you over. Wow, what a collection of spells. I can't remember if Kerr AG or Kerr AD is the strongest, so we're just gonna do that. A raise. Okay, cool. He's got aerial. I can really do some good damage now. Alright, let's get out of here. Excuse me. Thank you. And there's the hovercraft. Let's just see how good Minru really is. Oh yeah, we can definitely do some good damage now. Wahaha. I love it. Alright, before the next part of our journey... Uh, wait. Excuse me, kid. Quick heal so I can save at full power. Alright, we've opened 25 treasure chests, too. Neato. Alright, so we can pretty much travel the most of the world now, except through forests. In the original, you only get a canoe from him, so you still gotta do a ton of walking. Let's see what's in here. Alright, looks like this place is based off of... Uh, what the hell is that town? Toria, that's it. Alright. Broad shirt's probably insanely useless. Alright, I will get the kunai for... Furion, though. Um, let's see, what else? Can I sell for right now? I I actually want the battle axe for guy. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna go this way now, lady. Okay, we got shores to get get around this. We still got quite a bit of walking we gotta do. Oh boy. But I actually yikes. I actually want to get enough just to get the battle axe for Guy. Since there really isn't any other weapons for right now, I want to get for Maria and Moon. Yikes. Okay, Asper is the Wrath spell. That's good to know. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot.
see if we can try this. Oh, okay. Okay, finally got away with one of these jerks. Um, if I hold on him. Owie. Yeah, see how you like it. Since Minru is a temporary member, you really don't want to equip equip them with a lot of stuff for since they take it with them when they leave. Though when we though later in the game when you get we get Yosef, I do want to equip him with a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, cool. And another bronze hourglass. All right, that was actually easier than I expected. Let's go back down here. Okay, he does have the shield. And I still don't have enough. Damn it. Um, look at it. No, it's Scorch. And the axes are two handed weapons, so he can equip any shields. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. It looks like they put a lot of work in this hack. Yeah, um, I can't even remember th the guy's name. Give me one moment. Since you're here, let me... Whoops, that's not the bookmark. Let me repost the two links I did at the beginning for the actual translation patch along with the, um, the news article. Here's the news article, and here's where to get the patch itself, uh, the English patch itself from Tomato. Alright, I'm just going to go back to Altair, do a full heal, save again, and we'll continue on our journey. Montauk, I've never seen this hack. I did manage to find it though. Can't wait to try it out. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people playing it earlier in the week, which got my attention. Gun Arm Dying and somebody else was playing it last night. I can't I can't think of who it was. Do that before I do something stupid. Thanks for joining me today, Montauk. This is just a hack showcase showing uh, showing this off through the first few events of the game. Okay, off to Salamand. I also have one of the FF2 walkthroughs from Strategy Ricky nearby nearby me in case I ever got stuck enough. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Oh, and another chocobo forest. 
Oh, they moved Mount Odeus into this. Instead of the snow cavern thing. That's cool. Okay, looks like Salamander is based off of the desert town after you save Kid Rydia. Okay, we got close. Ow! Oh, okay, Yosef is Yang. I guess I can't can't just show him my ID. See anything new I can do here? No. Womp womp. Anything here? No. Alright, you know what? Let's get into an, a fight over here. Kaipo. Oh yeah, Kaipo. I honestly sure know. I honestly sure know know all of this by now. I play enough of FF FF four with the Ultima hack. Speaking of, I do need to. I should get get that started again since version eleven just dropped. Now with more party swapping. All right, let's know what do one more attack. Let's. Yeah, let's do one more attack. And then I'll head over to the force. All right, you know what? Since I'm kind of having a little fun with this. Okay, I guess we don't need to. Alright, since I'm... Alright, this is the way. Since I'm kind of having fun with this, I think we will fin go through Simmet Force. Oh, thank goodness I'm going the right way this time. What I'll do is I'll just do a lot of um, attacking until I hit the first save point, And then just keep running through until the boss fights and I guess hope for the best and then uh, and then after the mithril event will end there oh crap damn it I hit the wrong button Ugh. damn it Okay, we did get the battle axe already. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, we're just going to go up here to Not Kaipo. Talk to Yo. Talk to Not Yang. And then get to the force. All right, we did all this already. Poke over there in the corner. Hopefully, nobody will uh, steal the hovercraft. Nothing worse than Grand Theft ho Hovercraft. And we'll just run, run, run. I hope, hope, hope. Oh, 
Oh, okay, you can still drop gill in this. That's neat. Four was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. I played it several times, so I definitely want to try a hack at some point. I definitely recommend FF4 Ultima. I cannot recommend it enough. Oh, okay, Cement Falls is based off of the Old World Array up to Demkind. That's cool. I, I know we, I definitely do have to do a little level raising. The first Final Fantasy I finished was the original, I think the first RPGs I really played was the original Final Fantasy and the first Dragon Warrior. I really don't want to use much of Maria's magic quite yet. Also because I only have have the one ether. Outside of that, I'm going to ignore the treasure chest. Yeah, I gotta save Maria's magic because I know what's com I know um, something that's coming up next, but I don't entirely remember where. Let's put it that way. I would like to take out one of these changes this time around, considering or they considering they retreat a quite often. Like right now. Jerk. Oh, cool, he's got a sleep incantation. I I don't feel like fighting these guys. Oh my god, come on. Really? Really? Uh, how do I, how do I get out of here? Okay. What are we looking at with levels? Okay, I had to go down. Oh, hello there. You're quite ugly. You're purple and you have green tongues. That's really gross. Goodbye. You know, getting started in this one isn't so isn't so bad compared to the original F FF2. Though getting though getting things started in the original F FF four isn't bad either. I've had r um, rougher starts. Not today, Satan. Uh, let's just run. Oh, 
Okay, here's the save point. And you know what? Let's check some stats. You know what? One more fight, and then we'll. Ooh. Okay. I shall most certainly take that. Alright, you know what? Let's do this fight, then we'll heal, heal and save, and see what's next. But like I said, I've been playing this on my own. I know there's two boss fights here. I honestly don't remember where the first one triggers at. So I'm kind of being trying to be, care be careful here so I don't end up game over during this showcase. I mean, I really screwed up uh, hitting the wrong button for one of the save states. Alright, guys level is going up next fight, so let's just do that. Nope. No, well, let's... Let's try something. See if Hold will work on him. I guess not. Maybe sleep? Maybe not. Try kicking him. Yes, awesome. Okay, this is cool. Finally, finally figured out how to take one of those guys out for next time I play this either on my own or I start streaming this. Ooh, look at that experience. Ooh, doggy. Okay, now it's healing time. Hello. No, I haven't fought these guys yet, so let's just battle them. Not to mention, fearon has got a level coming up soon. Oh, pin. Something I've never used before, even in FF4. Let's do a quick save. Uh, how am I at 4 HP? I'm good. What the? What? Okay. This was unexpected. Alright, so here's where the Octomat Moth fight was. Great. Okay, at least I can take him out the same way as in FF4. And that's doing some good damage. I 
Honestly, after this, I might just go back to the save point and heal. And you're all going to see one thing I'm not so thrilled about with this hack. Once I get close to defeating him. Actually, I think I'm in better shape fighting him this time than I did when, when I got surprised fighting, fighting this guy on my own before. Okay, that was pointless. And like I said before, since this is built off of the Japanese Effort 4, the item duplication trick does work. If I wanted to. Which right now I really don't have a need for. So a lot of these boss fights, when even when you think you've got them nailed, Kinda keep going. I think their MP was um, increased. Usually by now I both had had our Oct Octo friend here taken down. Whoops. Thankfully I've got you. Please die. So after this we're going to heal and save again. And then I'm going to rush my way back through the rest of the force to trigger, there we go, to trigger the next boss fight and story event before we end. Oh wow, been doing this over an hour. Guy gained another level, Maria gained her a level finally. Heal and save, heal and save. Hopefully I'm remembering to remembering take a few good screenshots. I do like how the fours are now based off the ancient the the water ray going through um going up to Dame Kine. Not today, Satan. Not today. Nope. And I think if you look closely enough, you can still see the secret passages. Oh, you know what? I just want to grab those chests before we do stories. Before it's story time. Let's screw it. I know I'm near the next boss fight, but but I'm close enough to it that I can 
um, do this. Even if I take out the take out four of these guys and the uh, and the changers retreat. Okay, that's two down. That's another two. Plus, I got Minru to heal anyway. Wow, I'm really surprised they're sticking around this long. Okay, my mistake. Ooh! Okay, that's cool. Any levels going up? Oh yeah, and his level just went up anyway. Hello there. Help us, please! Help us! Oh, hi little girl. Sob, sob. Hi, who are you? Firon, it's you! You remember me, don't you? Poor, greatest thief in all the world. Am I ever glad to see you? This is Yosef's daughter, Nellie. Princess Hilda told you to bring her back to Mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out this was where the Mithril was coming from easy enough. So I thought I'd get the jump on you guys and nab the Mithril before you could get here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me, of all people! Well, I know when I'm in over my head, but don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. By the way, it's a bit dangerous, but there's a shortcut ahead that leads back to the entrance. It's near the water, so it's easy to miss. Don't forget! Anyway, thanks again for saving us. I owe you one. Um, okay. Alright, where's the boss fight? Oh good, Earth Shirt. Get that for her. Huh, Rebels, never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting Mithril, you're right. My Mithril blades straight through your heart. Oh, what a nice guy. This fight kind of reminds me of the general and the... and the soldiers... and the soldiers fight during the Fabrile Gauntlet and... um, back in... Baron, was it? Or Kaipo? I have no idea how I'm forgetting things in FF4 today. I think I need a nap. Alright, let's see if Libra, act Libra actually works for a change. Ow. 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 Oh, it worked for once. Neat. So again, if you like my content, feel free to follow and feel free to sub if you want or send me biddies. A lot of my videos, after I stream them, I export them over to my YouTube in about a day. Sometimes some videos are involved with a blog post that I'm reviewing or doing a theme, sorry, 
or I'm doing a theme night. So they were incorporated in into that later. You mean when you first go to the inn in Kaipo and they come to kill right here? Yeah, that's it. Plus this reminds me of the fight with the general and the soldiers during the Fabul Gauntlet. Where if you take out all the soldiers, the general may just just say may just say see ya and go home. Let's see if that works here. Probably not. No, screw I probably don't even need a heal. You know, I've honestly never gotten pinned to work even in FF4 with Edge. Still have no idea what that did exactly. That shocked him. Oh, neat. He learned fire. And we got Mithril. Cool. And we got attacked. Not so cool. Alright, let's find the shortcut out of this mess. Oh. Thanks for the GG's. I ain't fighting you. Alright, you know what? I will fight you though, since you're brand new. Though I probably should have done that with the shark. Uh, you know what? Screw this. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember Asper is this game's version of Rasp. Looks like the flowing water leads straight back to the entrance. Jump into the water? Hell yeah! Okay, we're back here. Find a way out of this hellhole. Oh, you know what I do want to do. Before I forget. Screenshot for the review. I don't remember if we have to talk to Yosef, but we're going to anyway. And then we're going to just go back to um, Altair save and we'll end things there. If I can get to my stupid hovercraft. Toot toot. I probably won't, once we get back to Ocean, I'll, I'll heal and save and I probably won't go through the story event there. My daughter has returned safely. Thank you. Alright, and then he's set up to help me out later. 
Looks like I can take the hovercraft to get all the way back. And I just went the wrong way. So, it's something I do quite often in this game. Hello, Forrest. Let's just see what I got here for levels. Hour five minutes game time, hour and 22 minutes real time, okay. I guess that makes perfect sense. Excuse me. Thank you. Ooh, it's a rebel hideout. Toot toot. Excuse me. You found the Mithril. Now we'll be able to fight the Empire on equal terms. Please take the Mithril to Tobo, the town blacksmith. I'm certain he'll be able to make, make you some magnificent weapons. I wish place was he in. And that's him. Did you bring Mithril? Yes, I did. Oh ho, that's Mithril. I've been waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. Alright, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it, I'll start pounding it out. Alright, and then I just leave and come back and I can buy Mithril stuff. Oh, okay. I'm out of gear already. Womp womp. Don't need that. Don't need that. I hate those things. And before we end, let's take a look at Mithril Armor. Oh, yeah, I gotta sell this. Okay, we got shields, helmet. The armor is mad expensive, but nothing a item duplication trick can't fix. Alright, before we end though, I do want to, thing I do want to just take a quick screenshot cap of Yosef. AK not Yang. For my blog review in a day or two.
Okay. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this hack. I really enjoyed the translation of FF2 story, and I love what was done to bring FF2 into the the enhanced graphics of Final Fantasy IV. Loving the use of music, loving the fact that towns and castles and other locations are either built off of towns from Final Fantasy IV, IV or bits and pieces thereof various towns and locations. And we have Mount Odeals and Simit Falls is based off the the waterfall caves leading up to Dimkind. I think I'm going to enjoy playing this. Hell, I'm going to enjoy streaming this and reviewing this too. Th oh, thanks for the bits, man. I appreciate it. So, once again, anybody just joining us, I'm going to just post one more time the link for the news article. Whoops. Sorry about that. See if anybody's interested in that. And from here, we are going to finish saving again, because I don't trust myself. Can you blame me after my, my save state screw up earlier? And hopefully tonight I will be doing showcasing 8-Bit Fan's SRAM hacks of Battle of Olympus, Clash at Demon Head, Goonies 2, Guardian Legend, and Zexus. And hopefully tomorrow, depending how I feel after work, ret bringing back Retro Revisited on the Super Star Wars SNES Trilogy, another series of games I haven't played in over, excuse me, 20 years. And on that note, we are going to see who's floating around for a raid. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Alright, I think we're going to be Chinese Hulk, who's playing Castlevania yeah, Bloodlines for the first time. Give him a shout out. A shout out. Uh, and I will catch you guys soon. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thanks again for the subs and the GG's, Chris474. I hope you check out this hack. I really enjoyed doing this showcase. And I hope you have the my blog review up in the, the next couple days. Catch you guys hopefully tonight or tomorrow. Oh, crap. Yeah, I can spell. Honest. <laughs>